Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. We have a cool video for you guys today. We're gonna to show you guys how to fully customize your taskbar icons in Windows 11. We'll show you not only how to change the size and shape of the icons, but also how to change individual icons themselves. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 11, Windows 10, Microsoft Office, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So we have a decent amount of customization we can actually do. First off, let's start with just the general taskbar settings. So if you pull up your settings, it's Windows key and I, and navigate to personalization. Here we have a taskbar section here. Click under taskbar behaviors. Here we have various settings we can adjust for the taskbar. This is also where we're gonna find our alignment. So we can change this to the left if you prefer the legacy windows look. I actually happen to like the middle, so I'll keep it on center. And then we could automatically hide the taskbar, for example. And so only when we, when we hover our mouse over it, it comes up. Uh, I prefer the settings the way they are. In addition to those settings, we can quickly and easily rearrange the order of the icons by clicking and dragging. So let's say I want Chrome to be next to uh, File Explorer and then Edge, and then I want Resolve, Photoshop, and After Effects. So again, quickly and easily, you can just rearrange them by dragging. Now let's say you wanna remove an app from the taskbar. We can right click and unpin from the taskbar. We can also do the opposite. We can go to All Apps and any app that we'd like to be in our taskbar, we can simply click and drag it onto our taskbar. And then if I wanna remove it, right click, unpin from taskbar. Next, I'm gonna right click anywhere on the taskbar and hit taskbar settings. And as we can see, we have other system tray icons. So here we can actually go ahead and customize these. We can turn them on or off. All right, and if you wanna actually change the icon itself, here is how to do that. Let's go back to Chrome. As we can see, I have the uh, sort of orange and yellow colored Chrome right now. And so even though we can get it from our start menu, we can't actually access the properties menu yet. So we're gonna right click on it and we'll click open file location. So we need the original file, which is here. Next, I can right click on that and hit properties. And I can click change icon. By default, I have some icons that are already available or I can browse for a new one right here. Once you select your icon, hit apply, hit continue and hit okay. And this won't take effect in the taskbar until I remove it. So I'll click unpin from taskbar. I'll grab this shortcut and I'll drag this in and the icon change will be reflected. All right, guys, the last thing we're gonna do is actually install an icon pack. I'm using a website called DeviantArt. This is a fairly large database for online image collections and things of that sort. We'll leave the link for this in the description. I found an icon pack that I like here called Clay Icons. And so I'm just gonna click download here. I'll go ahead and click the Google Drive link that they're giving me. All right, guys, so once I've located the icon pack folder, you're going to want what's called a .ico file format. If you don't have that or if it doesn't give you that option, you can always use some sort of online converter. So again, we don't want PNG or JPEG. We want .ico. So I went ahead and downloaded this entire folder. So let's go ahead and change the icons. Okay, in my downloads, I have the folder here. I'm just going to drag this to my desktop right now for easy navigation. While that's loading, let's go ahead and start with Chrome. So again, I will right click open file location, right click and properties. And then inside of the properties, once again, I'll be changing the icon. Now here we can browse. I'll go to desktop ICO and then we'll just scroll until we see the Chrome application or I can search for it inside of the folder, which will be a little bit easier. And here are our options for Google Chrome. Now, in this case, they're actually pretty similar, if not identical. I like this blue one here, so I'll go ahead and select that. I'll hit OK, apply continue and okay again. Once again, I'll be unpinning this from the taskbar and then I'll drag in the new application. Let's go ahead and repeat this for edge. So I'll type in edge, right click, open file location. Again, we'll hit properties, change icon, browse. We're already in our ICO folder. And again, I'll just search edge. All right, and I like this one here, so I'll go ahead and click that and open. I'll hit okay, apply, continue, and okay. All right, once again, we are going to unpin from taskbar and we will redrag that in. And there we go. All right, I'll show you guys one more icon and then I'm just gonna do the rest so you don't have to sit here and watch me do every single one of them. Let's try DaVinci Resolve and we'll see if we have that in there. Open file location, right click, properties, change icon, browse, and I'm gonna type resolve. 
And yes, we do have it. Perfect. So I'll double click that. OK, apply and OK. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with the process at this point. We unpin and we just redrag it here. All right, I'm going to repeat this process for Photoshop and After Effects. All right, guys, to change the File Explorer icon, we're going to right click on this. We're going to right click on File Explorer again and hit Properties. Here we can change the icon for File Explorer. Again, we're going to browse and we'll find the File Explorer here. And this kit doesn't have one for the File Explorer itself. So I'll just go with the Finder for Mac. This way I know what it is. Okay, and then once again, I will just unpin it, open it up, and we will repin to the taskbar. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. And lastly, any specific video topic ideas you may have are strongly encouraged. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.